Hi everyone, I'm Lauren with Baby Gizmo and I am here today to talk about sleep because sleep is obviously at the top of our minds. I have a three-year-old son and a 10-month-old daughter, um, both who are great sleepers, but I will say it wasn't easy to get to this point. So I wanted to share a couple things that work for us and how we make sleep happen in our house basically. So one thing I learned early on with my son, who's my older, my toddler, was that he strived, he lived for a routine. So what's so important to us that every night we do the same thing and I should start off by saying that a lot of my friends make fun of me because I am really strict about sleep and I am really that mom that is like nope seven o'clock sorry we can't stay out any later it's time to go home time to go to bed but the truth is my kids thrive on this routine and the sense of being home and the sleep and I can see it in their personalities and their behaviors on nights when they get enough sleep versus when they don't that my kids that are structure based and that's awesome and it works great for us. So the first thing we do is we have a routine set up. Structure and routine. So for us that looks like I'm um, getting a bath Let's be honest, not every night. We get out, I have nighttime lotion, uh, pajamas, and an overnight diaper, which I'm gonna talk about in a little bit. And then my husband comes in and we'll read a story with her. And as soon as they're done, lights off, white noise machine on, blackout curtains closed, and we nurse um, rocking in our rocking chair. Um, she used to nurse to sleep, she doesn't anymore. So now when she's done, she kinda like pushes off me. It's like, we're good here. So. I'll put her down in her crib and she sucks her thumb and falls asleep. Routine. Every night we do the same thing. Pajamas, overnight diaper, read a book, lights off, sit in the chair. Like that's our thing. And I feel like when you repeat that enough, she learns like, okay, this is how I go to sleep at night. I swear by white noise. My son has one. My daughter has one. I actually use white noise. Um, I think something about that sound just helps. One, it helps soothe you, but two, it also helps block out like little noise like a car alarm going off or, you know, if it's a really windy night or the washer going off in the background. Like, I think white noise helps buffer a lot so you're not hearing those little, you know, ooh, what was that? What was that? The room is dark and we use like room darkening blackout curtains um, in both kids' rooms and that I think definitely helps. It also helps in the morning when the sun comes up earlier than I would want them to be up. My kids are also really big on an early bedtime. Like I mentioned, I am a stickler to it and you know, I'm not a super fun mom in that sense that at seven o'clock it's bedtime and keeping a child up later does not help them sleep in later. If anything, they usually wake up earlier, at least in my case. So another thing that really helps her when she's sleeping at night is if she does wake up at night, um, I make my husband go in first and I know that a lot of moms, um, may not have that luxury but hear me out so my husband goes in first and that is because if I go in she automatically wants to nurse she doesn't want to be comforted by me she doesn't want anything to do with me other than to nurse and so if you're breastfeeding I definitely recommend having someone else try and go in first to soothe them pat their back you know pick them up if you have to um, but to have someone that isn't responsible for feeding them go in first kind of helps them learn that like, okay, just because I'm awake doesn't mean I need to eat. And a lot of times um, he is able to get her back down. Sometimes, I'll be honest, it works. Sometimes it doesn't and I do have to go in and all she wants from me is to nurse. Um, but the good news is most of the time when she does nurse, she falls back asleep and she will lay down. And my one bane of existence is laundry. I feel like I'm constantly doing laundry. It never ends. And the biggest thing I hate is sheets. I hate watching sheets. And I hate having to stretch a sheet that doesn't want to go on and like flip the mattress out. It's just, I can't stand it. So when my son was going through this phase where he kept wetting through his diaper and I was constantly changing his sheets every morning and then having to wash everything so it was back on at nap time, so frustrated, we learned about overnight diapers. And overnight diapers have saved our sanity. I'm not, I'm not joking. An overnight diaper has an extra layer in it, I guess, and they're a little bit thicker and they're a little bit bigger and they just hold more in them so that when they wake up in the morning, they haven't soaked through their clothes. An overnight diaper helps both of my kids sleep all night long. I'm telling you, they are both really heavy wetters. They wake up in the morning and they are soaked and they are 
you know, very full diapers, but they are not wet. And I think that feeling of wetness against their skin is what causes them to wake up sometimes because I'm sure that's incredibly comfortable. I've been using Huggies overnights with my daughter. Um, I think they're amazing. They're big and they're comfortable and they are so full in the morning. Sorry if this is TMI, but she is not wet. Her skin isn't wet. Her clothes aren't wet. Her sheets aren't wet. A happy baby is a well-rested baby, and a well-rested baby is a dry baby, and I will sing that till the end of time. Honestly, I have a lot of friends who look at me as like some sleep expert. I promise you I'm not, but I do know that structure and happiness and getting enough sleep leads to happy kids. At least with my two, the second that they have a bad night, the next day is really tough for them. They're not that flexible, and they're not you know, that like go with the flow kind of kids. They need their sleep. And in order for them to get a good night's sleep, they need to be comfortable. Are you following with me here? And when they need to be comfortable, they need to be dry. And that means they need overnight diapers. When my kids are sleeping through the night and they're sleeping 12 hours a night, that's a lot of pee, like let's be real. So it's important that they are in overnight diapers. So I have a pack here actually. This is our most recent Huggies Overnights. Try and get the glare off of there. They are awesome. My daughter uses them every night. My son does too. We love them. We use them every day because it's that important for them to get sleep and it's that important for me to get sleep. So hopefully some of these tips were really helpful for you and I hope you have a great night's sleep tonight. Thanks a lot. Bye.